what's going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 RP video. Today, I'm super excited to work with the narcotics unit and go after the most wanted criminals in Los Santos. First, we're gonna plan how we're gonna take down the armed gang members by hitting them fast and hard. Once we have them in custody, we will deploy a top secret police tactic to find out where the drugs are being stored. And last but not least, we will hit the stash house and get these drugs off the streets. We're gonna be going after three people, three different vehicles that are gonna be on the hit list for today. First one's gonna be a Chevy Tahoe, license plate 29, Adam Young, David 142. Uh, this one comes back registered to a guy named Carl White. He did purchase a vehicle from Simeon's about two weeks ago. Problem is he paid for it with a bounce check. So obviously, you know, Simeon's upset about that. So he's currently wanted for financial fraud. On top of that, his vehicle, the Tahoe, it was also seen going in and out of a known drug house. That house you can see down here in the Del Perro area. I marked it with a green marker. We do have undercovers on this house. So if you guys happen to see that purple Tahoe anywhere in that area, do not approach it. I want you guys to c contact Captain Rico. He'll get in touch with the undercovers and they'll keep eyes on it, okay? Yes, sir. Next up, we're looking for a 2008 Ford F-250. This one's gonna be green in color. License plate 87, Edward Sam David 289. This one is coming back to a guy named Reggie Smith. Reggie is a known gang member with the Families Gang. He also has a couple of crimes under his belt, including assault and a Los Santos police officer, and he is believed to be armed and dangerous. Next up, we have a yellow Dodge Challenger. This one is a little tricky. He's been running from a couple of our units multiple times in the past, unfortunately we had to call off the pursuits because of things like traffic and stuff like that but it's gonna be a yellow dodge challenger two black stripes down the middle we believe it's registered to a guy named mark martinez so challenger license plate's gonna be adam lincoln adam nora three spaces and a zero so as i said he ran from the sheriff department up there on vinewood boulevard in that red marker area sharp o'connor i want you guys to swing past his house see if he's home all right well yes sir all right, so those are going to be the three main vehicles that we're going to be looking for. Of course, keep your eyes open for any other suspicious activity while you guys are out there. We've been having a lot of drugs in our state, unfortunately. So we're going to try to go out there and make a difference and see if we could get some of those drugs off the streets. Any questions? No, sir. No, sir. All right, let's go. It's a nice car. That it is. Hey, check the hot sheet on that one. I think I saw it earlier. It's got an active bolo on it. I uh, call it in. Let's see if we get another unit. I'm gonna attempt to stop him. Four 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 four. We're gonna be on a 1038 near 119 Carson Avenue. Uh, we got a uh, vehicle on a hot sheet, possibly. We start us another unit this way. 10 4 received. Dispatch 409. Go for 409. Can you please proceed to 401 and 404's location, they've requested an additional unit, they've got a stop from a bolo list. How you doing, sir? Captain Rico State Police. What's up, dog? How you doing, man? Hey, listen, the um, reason for the stop is uh, your vehicle came back on the hot sheet. It looks like there must have been some type of a bolo or this vehicle's involved in some kind of incident a little couple months prior. What the heck you talking about, man? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, listen, let me get your license, registration, short card, all that good stuff for me. Uh, my name is Mark. Mark Martinez. Here's my license. Mark, I uh, appreciate that, Mark. Mr. Martinez, where are you heading today, man? Just going to my crib. It's a nice car, man. I like it. Uh, it's all right. You live in the neighborhood, Mark? Yeah, I live around the corner. Okay, very nice car. How long you had it? Doesn't matter. I'm just asking a question. It's a nice car. You can look in the registration when I bought it, man. All right. Four four this way. Shit. Sorry, fool. You brought me a 28 check. check. You get a chance. Ten full standby. So where are you coming from? from the store. Oh, okay. So Martinez, yeah, can you step out of the vehicle? For what? I want to explain a couple things to you. Can't do it through the window? Well, we got I a... have the window, though. I can't hear you, man. When you're ready for a Oh, yeah. I actually smell some marijuana coming out of the vehicle from the window. Uh, the vehicle's going to come okay. back to a yellow El Cacho. Uh, I had a skunk. Allen, common spelling. How much have you had today? A uh, couple spaces and O. A couple joints, man. Should be come back to Mr. Mark Martinez. I think. All right, just step out of the vehicle. Ten four, stand by. All right, dog. Shit. All right, just face the vehicle. Yeah, for a six, that does not come back to anything in the state <laughs> database. 
Right, so at this time you're being detained on the suspicion Stand of by. Um, further checks show the there vehicle. is an active okay. bolo for this vehicle. Nothing conditional at this stage. Plates do not come back in the state state database, however. Hey, I'll kind of search the trunk for me. Mr. Yeah, Martinez, sorry. you got any weapons or anything like that on? You're not supposed to. Hell no. Knives, Hell no, man. Guns, Hell no. Like Look, I got other joints. Hey, calm down, man. Calm you got down. Any... I got other joints. I, I got no weapons. Let's, I can't have a weapon. Down. I can't calm buy down. a weapon, man. All right, look, shit. we're just checking, man. Just checking. You're you got safety, anything in the safety, car? That's all. Yeah, I ain't got shit. I'm just going to check your pockets real quick, man. You sure you got nothing on you, right? Uh, my cell phone is in there, man. All right, what side is your cell phone on? My right side. Right side. Anything else in your pockets I need to know about before I stick my hands in there? That's it. Any weapons in the vehicle? No. Uh, yeah, 10 4. I've just done a nice secondary database search. Comes back to a Mark Martinez. Um, expired registration. Um, yeah, currently employed as a construction worker. 5'5, five, five, yep. 200 pounds, yeah. brown hair, Multiple black of... eyes, like black hair color, marijuana. active bolo on the vehicle, Alan Zero. What's in these bags? You yeah. say you didn't have anything in there. I don't know, man. What are you doing? You selling it or what? I don't know. Where Listen, you got Mr. it from? Martinez. What, man? What? Here's the deal, man. Like, we got a couple issues here, right? You got some unknown packages in your trunk. Your vehicles reeks of marijuana. All right. Yeah, I told I told this guy over here that I smoked three joints. That's a little bit more than three joints, man. Yeah, you said three joints. We got three bags of marijuana back here. So are you selling or something, man, or what? He got it packaged up pretty well. It looked like he just picked it up. Where you got this from? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna. You gonna? We want to get him for uh, possession, obviously. Yeah, possession. All right. All right. I'm just gonna Mirandize him real quick. Oh, okay. All right, Mr. Martinez, right now you're going to be placed on arrest for possession of narcotics. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You cannot afford one will be provided for you by the state of San Andreas. You understand these rights as I just read to you? Yeah, dog. At any point in time, you can't stop answering questions if you'd like. So, what we were talking about earlier, where did the narcotics come from? Man, look, but look, bro. I don't want to. I don't want to. Not a girl. Did you, did you call me girl? I'm not a girl, I said sir. Bro. I said bro. Right, okay. I'm not your bro either. Hey, man. What's I don't up? want to go to jail. Well, you're off to a bad start. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you. I don't want to talk to these, these guys right here. Such a shithead. Uh, I'll talk to you, man. Can, can, can we talk? All right, come over here. All right, what you got? Good man. Yep. I, I picked that out over there from 144. When? I work for, I work, I work for some guys. They're, they're very heavy. They have ties with the, you know, with La M.A. Mexican cartel. What uh, else? What I else was, they got over just, there? These guys make me a little nervous, man. I, I ain't gonna do shit to you, dog. Just they have fentanyl, they have meth, they have more marijuana, they have more weed, they have cocaine, they have all kind of shit. I've been bringing that shit straight from Mexico. You said one four four. Yeah. What uh, does that, the house look hotel. like? It looks kind of like a hotel. It's a hotel. Yeah. So what so are they renting a room and selling drugs no, out of man. it? No, man. They're renting the whole property. How I know you're not bullshitting me. Dude, I just, look at look at my freaking record, dog. I, I don't want to go back to the joint. And to be honest with you, dog, I'm tired of this life, man. I I, I really want, you know, I really I really want to yeah. to be better and it's don't nice car, dude. don't get on any more trouble. I'm just trying to get a quick, you know, a quick hit so I can probably get some money and fly to Liberty City and just get out of here. Oh okay. It's gotta be, man. Transport him for me. All right. He's gonna be arrested for the drugs. I'm gonna go check a lead with Captain in the meantime. Are right, you telling me the truth? Man, I, I, look, look. You already uh, lied to me. Why should I believe you? Ah, uh, dude, look, look. I put, I put it on, on Beard Hander while I loop him, man. All right, we'll see what happens then. Yeah. All right, take him in. He's saying he knows where we could get more than just marijuana. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's saying that the spot he got this from. They got marijuana, they got fentanyl, they got meth. Wow. So I'm, I'm assuming he's out here dealing then, I guess, right? Yeah, he's picking it up and selling it. Now, he mentioned there's a motel at 144. Four, four, nine, ten, seven. He's saying they're Transform renting out the whole the place. Ten four, that's all received. Ten seven transporting one. Yeah, you know what? Um, Want to take a ride right over there? Or? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if it's the place I'm thinking of, there is some high drug activity in that area. I got a couple of people I can reach out to to confirm some things if you want to really make sure... You know, really double check what's inside. You know what I mean? Okay. So let's get in contact with your people. We'll send them in. They'll okay. report back to us, and then we'll go from there. All right. Uh, so where where do you want to meet them? Tell them meet us behind the firehouse. Behind the firehouse? Yeah. 
We'll meet I him just, there. Okay. All right. Let me give him a call real quick. See so he picks up. All right. So we're going to see if we get an informant. If we get the informant, confirm it though. If that motel really have the drugs. If they do, we can move in and bust them. All right. We're good. He's going to meet us. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's do it. All right. Cool. So it should be out here soon to pick this up. Uh, yeah, last time I don't know what he's driving. Last time he had like some blue hoopty looking thing. Uh huh. But it was a while ago, so who knows if that's what he's gonna be having. Thought you were gonna make me run all the way over there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no PT test today. I think you're certified. <laughs> Hey, bud. Hey, what up? Gotta borrow your backyard for a minute. Alrighty. Damn, I hope that guy was telling us the truth, man. Yeah, I hope so, man. Hopefully he's not just running us on a while. He knows yeah. he can get additional charges for that, you know? Yeah, I mean, he started talking kind of quick, so I don't know. He did fess up pretty easily, though. That looks like him. Oh, shit. Jamal, what's up, man? How much are you doing? Hey, man, I'm doing all right been a minute yeah been, been a hot minute man world treating you okay so far uh, getting by you know what i mean cool hey look i got a couple questions to ask you all right yeah see if you can help me out so we got there's we got a tip about a, a hotel over here on roy lowenstein okay uh supposedly a lot of weights coming out of there a lot of fentanyl like you name it there, you know have you heard anything about it no not not okay. too much i mean i heard there's a little bit of stuff going around but i didn't know it was anything that big yeah i mean i i don't know how much it, like i don't know how you, i wanted to see if one if you heard anything about it and two if i could get you set up on uh do maybe a some kind of a, a little recon mission for me man yeah i'll go check it out for you what the goal is is, is try to to find out if they have fentanyl in there or not okay all right that's the goal so i don't know open. meth heroin any of the hard stuff i'll, I'll go see what you need well, what, what they got. All right. Well, look, you remember, you just, you got the same, obviously you have the same. Let me see yourself quick, man. Cell phone? Yeah. This one here. It's the same one we used last time, right? Yeah, it's not changed. All right. You're going to hit that, hit those three magic numbers. You remember the three magic numbers? Uh-huh. You're going to hit those three magic numbers. It's going to pick up everything you say, okay? Okay. You want to know what kind of narcotics are in the house, in the hotel. You know, if there's people, you know shipping stuff or if there's people coming and going weapons animals all that stuff try okay. to let us know how many people are in there and if you see any weapons or anything too you can let us know afterwards of course i'm thinking we pull them out first before we move them what you think captain we could do it um so i mean we can get all the audio on its own uh, -huh. uh maybe I can we can have it to my uh, tablet. and maybe we get a uh the unit to watch it while we pull him out let's secure him uh -huh. and then we can run in there i mean if, if we can get it if we can get a visual of the narcotics we can go in there no problem okay sounds like a plan just one, two, 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 two. Two. all right good comms are working Got all him. right we're ready to go commissioner all right let's do this I guess i'm supposed to see somebody about a delivery you got the bags well i got pat no i was supposed to pick bags up who sent you dog i told you dirty sent me all right what, what is it you're giving me now so I, i'm understanding this four or six we got four voices at least we got four four people at least what do you mean just just need to get these bags over there Cap. to uh to the airport that's all you need to I that's all you need to, to know the airport yeah those are you that's all you need to know three bags to the airport where where at the airport you need me to go well, i'll send you a text message you'll send me a text message you let me know once you're there i'll let you know where to drop them that's all you need to know man stop all asking right. Well, I need to you get... Smell, you, smell, you smell weird, dog. I smell Sending weird. Sending them on a mission. Shit, yeah, you're asking too many questions. Well, I mean, you want me to, to, to text you when I get there. I don't no. have the number yet, man. Don't worry about it. They're essential. You're going to know. Okay. I mean, all right. I mean, it, it, how am I, how am I going to know when I get there? You're, you're asking too many questions, man. Turn around. No, dude, dude, put the gun down, man. What no, you, you're you asking too many questions, man. You want me to text you. I don't know how to get a hold of you. There oh, was, shit. All right, man. I wanted to make sure you you weren't you were no punk. I don't know what you're talking about, brother. I, I'm, I'm here to pick, 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 pick this stuff up and go somewhere, somewhere but I got, got no information. information. Yeah. Look, here's my number. I was just making sure you were you were all right. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to text you once you leave out here. I'm going to send you the location where you need to go. And then you're going to have my number. All right. You That'll text work. me. You text me once you're getting inside Los Santos International. Okay. The and airport. then I'll tell you where 
where to go. There's going to be a guy in the cave. They yeah, call he's him throwing Fonzie. us for a detour. They call him Fonzie. Yeah. Where, so he's going to be in the gate. Uh, it's going to be at the gate to go by the hangers. Let me finish, man. Okay, okay. When you go out there, he's a Hispanic dude. He works He works with us, but he, he also works for the security at the airport. Tell him Fonzie that uh, Hancho send you. And then he'll let you go and let you know, let you know which hangar to put it up, okay? All right, so the gate behind the, uh, I guess the, the departure there, so Fonzie's gonna be waiting for me there. Yeah, you tell him, hey man, Hancho send me. Hancho sent? Hancho. Hancho, Hancho, I'm sorry. Hancho, Hancho, man. Hancho sent me, okay, I got you. All right, so I take, I take this one here. Uh, can you, can you walk the other ones out to the car for me? All right, sounds like he made a bad Hey, can we, you guys wanna help him? So. Yeah, yeah, we're here, yeah. boss. Hey, you guys got eyes on him. Negative, no eyes. Oh, we should probably move up to the alleyway. We're in the back alleyway. The one to the left or the one straight? Uh, well, s straight a little ways. And then, because they're over here on the left hand side. Hey, man, you're going to take off with the just hotel's two beds? down there on the end. Yeah, I see it right there to the left. See, so saying going straight? I would, yeah, I would say just go straight a little bit and then cut left on here. Hey, right. once. Once he there finished loading these these ones right here, you can't hey, once see it that far. I thought we were gonna have better eyes. You on think them. you can help me put some boxes in the box truck? Mm -hmm. Four and I got eyes on one. Looks to be a female. All right, well, thank you. Oh, that's them right in front of us. Yeah. I'm missing one bag. I didn't realize that. We should go to the other side. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So I got blocked them in. Yep. All right, that's all, man. Box truck all right. at the rear of the uh, hotel. Appears to be open. All right, you want everybody move or? They're outside. What's that? So a few people are outside. Looks like they're loading up a truck. Should we All take right. them now? Yeah, let's take them. All right, oh, let's yeah, move, yeah, move, move in. Oh, See shit. your hands. Oh, we got shots fired. Shots fired. We this got faster got shots inside. fired. One four four. Put your hands up. Dude. Hands up. Don't move. Shots fired. Post All units four. moving. State four, police. Three, Drop the weapon. State police. Yeah. Drop the weapon. Drop the Move weapon. They don't even see me. Stay <laughs> police, narcotic. I got one in custody. We're in the back room. We got a female in custody. Let me go, man. I didn't do nothing. Anybody else is in here? No. That's clear. 401 to dispatch. We're going to be requesting a 1052 to our location. 10 4 dispatching medics. Damn, I got two down there. Oh, this was the side where the truck was. Damn, you guys took shots too. It's Delaney Parker. Just doing a job, that's all. Uh, we're gonna go outside, okay? All right. Hey, we got two down on the other side. Um, I'll move my car so you can get in a little bit closer. Yeah, 10. Damn, that escalated quickly, guys. We had shots going off. No, I do not. Yeah, they're right in here. They took gunshot wounds. That gentleman over there where you're walking is Pancho uh, Lopez. That's the one we were looking for. Let me just double check that everything's clear in here. Looks like we got a lot of. Up, oh, yep, we got stuff in here, guys. Yep, here we go. This is what we were looking for. They were cooking up the drugs back here. They got the chemicals. Four hundred one, Hunter. The system. Dealer. Damn it. Time for. They got a bunch of chemicals back here. So yeah, they definitely, it looks like they were making meth. Also had marijuana. Traces of other drugs back here too. We're gonna have to take it to the lab and see what it is, but I think we hit, we hit the big one today. Two DOAs. Damn, so they were shooting at you guys. You guys took it around to the windshield here. Oh, a couple on the bumper up, too. Uh, Honcho opened fire first. Were they loading the truck or unloading the truck? Uh, it looks like they were loading it. Loading it, okay, so maybe it was moving to its next location. 
One guy's in custody. We got him in your truck. Uh, and the female's being searched right now by Ashar. Oh, God. He had three I'm duffel bags. I catch him up on that phone. Damn, this is crazy. Hey, how are you looking, Shark? Well, hold on, right? I'm searching the uh, vehicles. Haven't found anything. He's miscellaneous. He had an illegal gun, uh, which 404 has now. Okay. Still trying to figure out what's in this uh, bag here. Yeah, we're gonna have to, let's get it bagged up. We'll take it to the crime lab yep. for processing so we can figure out what's what. I All found right. marijuana back there, that was easy. But okay. there's about two or three other type of drugs. Can't tell All what right. it is for sure, yeah. so. We'll All right, yeah, there's, there's definitely two different uh, substance textures in here, so. We'll oh, okay. To, uh... All right, perfect. Uh, the other guy, he's in my vehicle? I believe so. Um, 404, put him into custody. Okay. Hey, what's your name, man? Uh, Jamal Brown. Jamal, what's going on here? I was supposed to pick up some, some packages, and uh, he, he never he never did tell me what was in the packages. He told me to, to text him when I got down to the airport. Got down there uh, at, at the gate uh, where, where the hangers are. He just said his name was Fonzie. Fonzie. He was going to give me further information. Well, at this time, they're going to be placed under arrest. Is there anyone in the back of my drawing go? For purchasing uh, drugs, all right? Yeah, I suppose. Something like that. Hey, Alphonse, would you be able to transport those guys? Yeah, um, I've contacted the coroner's office. Um, they're happy for me to do it. I've just taken a dialogue of all the injuries. Okay. So yeah, I'll take them up to the county office. I appreciate it. Let me yeah, take well, some. Um, they said they'll do an autopsy and basics, but they said they'll get you a report in a couple of days, hopefully. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Alrighty, I'll take them. Alright. Well, I was hoping to get them all in custody, but I mean, we got one out of three, so. Uh, two different substances in it. We're gonna have to run a test on it in the lab. Okay. So, still trying to put pieces together. Um, All right, sounds good. We got some information from Jamal, too, about the airport, so we'll follow up on that, that security um, guard down there. Yeah, the, there's a the cell phone that O'Connor found. Uh, somebody's pinging it with a message saying something about the uh, airline. That Fonzie's waiting. They gotta get the plane loaded to go to Liberty City. Uh, maybe this truck was supposed to meet him there. That's what I'm not wonder. Yeah, I we'll have to play that back. The um Jamal, he wanted Jamal to take something there or just to pick up something from there. So I was just talking to Jamal. He actually, gave, I, I don't know, the timing was just perfect. Yeah, but I think there should have been somebody else here to pick up. Jamal was picking up. Uh huh. Because uh, it, it sounded like he knew each other, and, and Jamal he didn't know it all. He didn't know it was in the bag. He didn't ask for any money or anything. So I think Jamal's timing was just perfect. Yeah, we got lucky today. All right, I good mean, job, everybody. It, whoever whoever was supposed to come probably saw the activity and probably hightailed it out. That could be yeah, what that message yeah. is. That, that could be the message could be trying to confirm some code or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, Essentially. So we got two DOA and two uh, arrests. Yep. Yep. I bet you these vehicles are probably one of theirs too. What's this LMA? Wasn't that the guy's name? So this one, I actually ran this one. It didn't come back to anything. Uh huh. But I don't know if these, you know, if these plates are, are accurate or what, but. Yeah, we'll get crime scene in there, and they'll be able to just go over, go over everything with a fine comb and put anything together that we miss. Yeah, definitely. All right. That was a good bust, though. That good it was. Bust. Can't wait to see what the totals are. Jamal. Yeah. You're good, man. Good job. Right on, man. All right, so look, this is what we're, gonna, we're obviously going to bring you down like we're processing you because we do have the other female in us in case anybody's watching us. Yeah. All right, and then uh, we're going to get your car towed out, and then we'll get it back to you. Okay. All right, so you got about maybe 30 minutes or so, and then we'll get everything set up. All right, so well, you can, uh, get your car and all that. Well, hopefully they don't scratch the car, man. They won't scratch it. Staying clean, right? I haven't seen oh, your yeah, name come I don't, up on I don't anything. Mess with none of that no more. That's good, man. That's good. I haven't gotten any calls lately, so I don't know what's going on. It went cold, man. 
Where are you staying at, Jerome? You still uh -oh. staying in town or what? Yeah, I'm, I got a, I got a place right now. I got a apartment. Yeah, I think we should send him up north so he could stay low for a little while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure, especially with that, with that driver. I, I think Jamal. I think what it sounded like to us, it sounded like they were expecting somebody to come pick up a truck of some sort, and you just happened to be there at the right time. That's what it sounded like. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe. I don't know. They were trying to rattle me, man. They had guns pointed at me and everything. Yeah, so just, hey, look, just keep in mind that female's in here, processing her. You know, yeah. I should play the part. All right. All right, you can follow me in, Jamal. <laughs> on this way, man. Thank you so much for watching this video. Next up, check this one out where we spent 24 hours with the Los Santos Police Department gang unit and went after the most wanted criminals in the city, as well as responded to some crazy 911 calls. You don't want to miss it. Check it out, and I'll see you guys over there.